Hello crochet friends, welcome back. Working on our ditty bag and today is round one of this top part of our bag, okay? So we're gonna get ourselves started. If you remember the last time when we joined our three sides, we ended with a slip stitch here in our chain two. So we're going to start with chaining three right from here. So yarn over and pull through one, yarn over and pull through two, yarn over and pull through three. And right now, we're going to work in our chain spaces here, okay, all across. So that chain three counts as our first double crochet. We're gonna yarn over for a double crochet, and we're gonna enter the chain two space on our corner here. We're gonna give it a double crochet, so yarn over and pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over and pull through two, okay? yarn over we're going to go back in for another double crochet in the corner enter yarn over and pull through yarn over and pull through two yarn over and pull through two and then we're going to give it a chain one okay right there and then we're going to work in our next chain one space okay so move on over here to the chain one yarn over we're going to give it three double crochets and a chain one so enter yarn over and pull through Yarn over and pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. There's your first one. Yarn over, enter again. This is another double crochet. And we're getting quite used to those, aren't we now? <laughs> and go in for your third double crochet. Okay, so there we have it. And we're gonna give it a chain one. So they match, even though we did the chain at the beginning, that counted as our double crochet. And I lost one little piece. There we go, okay. So yarn over, go into the next one. It gets three double crochets. So there's one, this is two, and three. My little balls running along here. Here we go. And chain one. I'm gonna go into the next one. Three double crochets. There's one. This is two and three. Now we're at the corner. So we want to treat our corners just like we did, give it to the chain one, just like we did with our um, single crochets because these were singles in between. So this is a double here. So we want to yarn over and go into that chain two space right there. Yarn over and pull through, give it a double crochet. It's going to be a little awkward at first, but we will get it. It's okay. You just kind of working around your seam there where you joined everything, okay? There's two, and this is three, okay? And give it your chain one at the end. Now, turn your work here a little bit. Okay, so we're on the other side now, and we're going to, and it's kind of confusing, so I'm just trying to get it all straight for us. We want to start right here in our chain two space of our corner. So you did one there, now we're gonna do one right over here. So yarn over and go into that chain two space of the corner of your back granny square, okay? So give that three double crochets. So there's one, this is two, We're working with an opening now, right? So it's a little bit different. There's three and chain one, okay? So you can see how this is gonna give it a little bit of growth so that it will pucker at the top to make that nice drawstring look of it, okay? So now we do three double crochets and a chain one all the way across. So let's work on that in each chain space here, okay? There's one, two, and three and a chain one. So keep going and do your three double crochets and a chain one in each of these spaces and we'll meet up at the end. Here we go. Okay, I'm on my last one here. It's my chain one. And we want to join at the top of the chain three. So let's go to the third chain of the beginning chain three. So let's see, one, two, three, right here. We wanna go in there and join with a slip stitch. So enter. Yarn over and pull through, and pull through again. 
for a slip stitch. Okay, now do not fasten off your work, but you can pull it out if you wanna take a look at it. This is the end of round one. You can see how it, it flares out a little bit, right? And that's what we want, because we're making a drawstring effect. So this is perfect. This is exactly how we want it. So make sure that you went around and you did all of the chain spaces um, on both granny squares, okay? And that's it, that's the end of round one, and we'll see you next time for round two. Thank you, and have a joyful day.